ancient Japanese people have really bad teeth. My name's Anthony Cummins and I'm the author of Book of Bushido. So get yourself a copy. You'll have seen an advert at the beginning and there'll be an advert at the end. Get yourself a copy and help me out. Okay, you might have seen it in some documentaries, some films, some uh, where the people have black teeth in Japan, just purely black teeth. And you think, oh, and it's roughly around the same time as the Elizabethans with like, in most samurai documentaries, 15, 1600s. And the Elizabethans had terrible teeth because of the sugar intake was high. So is this what happened in Japan? The answer is no. So recently, uh, Scott from Sengoku Studies has put a video. I'll link you below. There'll be a link in the top. And we're working on a playlist, which is this book. This video is in a playlist. And this is my response to him. Um, what I'm doing is trying to deconstruct his video and show it to you guys and make sure you guys get over to his channel and subscribe. So there's something called black tooth staining in Japan, okay? I'll leave all the Japanese terms to him. They can all stay there. But basically, black tooth staining. And this is an ancient ritual to show high class. And we don't really know how it started because it starts a long time ago. Like, there's evidence going back to the first millennium. And it, we don't really know why it started or what was going on. But there are theories, and one of the theories, one of the theories I heard quite a long time ago was that it's to do with dental health you you stain these teeth and it helps protect your teeth from wear and tear and decay but of course there are different versions for it and it was normally the high class people so you've got to imagine for over a thousand years or more some japanese not all but some japanese went through a ritual of drinking or swilling or using or staining um, their teeth with a vinegar acidic um metal metallic liquid that every day or every few days or whatever they did would be putting it together they stir it up have a go and then they spit it out and then obviously they let it stay and they'll have to clean their mouths out and then when they walk around they have a beautiful smile of black teeth however it can be pretty sexy to be honest the only thing i don't like in ancient japan is they used to move the eyebrows and put them up here that makes them look crazy and they have black teeth but actually if you see girls with black teeth and white skin it looks quite nice if they're obviously not rotten teeth and we know these were not rotten teeth these are teeth that have been protected in fact there i have read multiple times that the japanese took great care to have good teeth and um there's a very low if not sugar diet very low fruit diet so low in things like sugar i.e bread so they have a lot the only problem is is rice but one of the things you might not know is most of the time when you see documentaries when the, the people are eating white rice it probably wasn't white rice so it was a bit more expensive it was probably brown-esque rice um wholemeal rice basically but um you know you can go back and we can check all that because there's some people could afford white rice some people could afford brown where the level is i couldn't tell you so what we have here is a system that might be ritualistic it's for high class people and it's meant to be beautiful and it's meant to protect the teeth yep and it could have supernatural you know ideas behind it we just don't know but what we do know by a 17th century document uh, is that by the time the 16 1700s come along it might also be the samurai who are doing their teeth as well probably for many years before that because samurai want to look high class so what we find when you imagine some of your fa the famous samurai miyamoto masashi did he blacken his teeth yeah my favorite samurai is natori sanjuro masazumi he wrote the shonen king we know he was right next to tokugawa yorinobu now one of the things you don't another white on black thing that you don't realize in japan is most castles are black so this idea of the japanese white castles when you're going back to those ancient days it's not true most of them are black in color uh, like i go to wakayama castle i like it but it should be black and they only painted them white later on um and a lot of this used to be wood you know like wood exposures and burnt wood exposures akira kurosawa has some great um replica castles in his film so we have to now think when we go back fujibayashi when he wrote the band sen shukai was he trying to be high or is he too, too low but we do know from this 17th century document which was written by natori sanjuro masazumi and you can read it in the book of samurai series he talks about white toothed warriors okay these are low class people so people they're actually the translation of the japanese term is blue teeth warriors but blue meaning that edge of white where you shade in blue and the idea is that people with blue teeth are lower class and people with uh, black teeth are higher class so white 
teeth are low class, black teeth are high class. So you get this, it starts to change the way you think of everything because you're like, hold on a minute, all them samurai who were trying to look higher. So Yagyu Mune Yoshi, was, did he have black teeth? You know, blacked out? Tokugawa Ieyasu? So when we see all these documentaries and everybody's got shiny pearly white teeth, could it be that these people actually all had black teeth? And that's what they did. Samurai, women, men, lots of people did it. How many? We're not quite sure. Now remember, get yourself a copy of Book of Bushido to help me out and also go over to Scott's channel and subscribe to him and help him out. And he's got all the Japanese terms for you there and the dates and the, the graves these have been found in. So go over there. This is just me deconstructing his video and giving you a little bit more information so you can be like, ah, oh, okay, right, I'm there. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Would you do your teeth? Would you dye it? I'd have a go if I didn't think it permanently stained my teeth. Or do you have a go?